हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ देवलिंस मैथमेटिक्स डेस्क सो एज यू कैन सी प्रोबेबली टुडे वी आर बैक विद द हार्डेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ यूनिटरी मेथड फॉर क्लास सेवन ओके सो आई टोल्ड यू इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियोस दैट इन पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू आई थिंक दैट वी कॉम्पिटेड ओनली फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द चैप्टर इन दिस लास्ट पार्ट फॉर यूनिटरी मेथड फॉर क्लास सेवन विच इज पार्ट थ्री वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एक्चुअली दीन्स मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एक्चुअली सो यूनिटरी मेथड One of the largest part is work and time. So today we are going to do all the sums based on work and time. So just tell me one common thing. If I can do a work in ten days, then how much can I do in one day? One by ten. This is quite means clear to you. So this is the means basic concept that in all of the sums we are going to see. I can do a work in some days. Then I can do in one day one by means that number of days work means if i do a work in 6 days then in one day i can do 1 by 6 of the work and then in 6 days i can do 1 by 6 into 6 means 1 that means the full work and always remember that means whenever you have done a work suppose 7 by um, 8 of a work you have done the remaining work is 1 minus the work you have done okay the full maximum work that you can do the total work is 1 and your remaining work is 1 minus the work you have done this is quite clear to you that's what obvious right means 1 is the means maximum amount of work you can do the total work suppose uh, if in building or uh, means constructing a chair then if you finish completing construction of the chair then you have done the full work which is 1 but suppose you have finished 3 by 5 of construction of chair Then you have one minus three by five equal to two by five of the work left. Okay, that's how it works. So today I am not means going into any formulas. We are going to directly see the sums because see, unitary method I told you before it's not a chapter of formulas. It's a chapter of concepts. So let us begin. So question one on your screen now. Let's see. All the things we learned in previous videos. If it decreases, we divide. If increases, we multiply. Everything keep in mind because it's going to come in handy in all the questions. So let's begin. And mostly our persons will be A, B, and C. And as I told, here you go. A can do a piece of work in six days. Okay, I am writing one formula. If I can do a work in x days slash hours. Then my one day slash one hour work equal to one by x days. Slash hours. This is the primary concept. If you can do a work in x days, then in one day you can do one by x of the work. If you can do a work in x hours, then you can do. In then in one hour you can do one by x of that work. Okay, just remember this and see how everything are going to find quite easy. So you can do a work. In six days, okay. And uh, Mr. B can do not Mr. B. It's Mr. B. Mr. B can do it in eight days. Not Mr. is there. Only B is there. In how much time? Oh no! Not in hours. How long will they take to complete it together? Means they were doing the work separately, then they were doing in some time. If now they are together, then all obviously they will take less time. This is quite clear to you. So let's see what is the question given. So, or A can 
do the work in six days. Therefore, that we have to means in all the cases, if days is there, we have to calculate as one day work. If hours is there, we have to calculate as one hour work. If minutes is there, we have to calculate as one minute work or every one unit, right? Okay. Is one day work equal to C? If you can do a work in six days, in one day, you can do one by six of the work. All right. That's quite easy. Similarly, B can. do the work in 8 days therefore B's one day work equal to what? B can do it in 8 days then B in one day can do how much? 1 by 8 of the work if I can do in X days then in one day I can do 1 by X of the work already I have this mentioned in there so equal to 1 by 8 so A in one day can do this much work, B in one day can do this much work. Then A and B together can do how much work in one day. Therefore, A plus B is one day work. And that is quite easy. A can do in one day this much, B can do in one day this much. Then A and B together can do 1 by 6 plus 1 by 8 work. A is one day work plus B is one day work equal to A plus B is one day work easy equal to let me just see it's LCM what is it 24 then you have 4 plus 3 7 7 by 24 so A plus B is one day work equal to 7 by 24 therefore A plus B can do the work whole work in 1 by 7 by 24 days equal to 24 by 7 days equal to 3 whole 3 by 7 days This is the answer. So I think the last part was quite tricky to you. So let us just come to 7 by 24. So using this formula, we can just see A can do in 6 days. A is 1 day work is 1 by 6. B can do the work in 8 days. Then B is 1 day work is 1 by 8. Then A is 1 day work plus B is 1 day work. Equal to A and B, B is together 1 day work. This is this one. Now see. A and B in 1 day can do this much work. Like that, I can do in one day this much work, then I can do the whole work in 1 by 1 by x days, right? See, 1 by 1 by x is what? 1 multiplied by x equal to x. And then only it comes out, right? You can do the whole work in x days, then in one day you can do 1 by x work. So you just see it in opposite way. Here also given, in one day you can do this much work, then you can do the whole work in the reciprocal 24 by 7 days. So these are means reciprocal of each other. Means if you can do a work in x days, you know one day work is reciprocal of 1 by x. Means reciprocal of x. It is 1 by x. Similarly, if in one day you can do 1 by x of the work, then you can do the whole work in reciprocal of 1 by x days which is a equal to x days and that's the formula converting from a to b b to a like that so just see here if a plus b together can do the work in this much means a plus b in one day can do this much work then they can do the whole work in 1 by 7 by 24 days which is a reciprocal equal to 24 by 7 days equal to 3 whole 3 by 7 days so these are reciprocal of each other that's all to just mean understand the statement which is if I can do a work in x days in one day I can do reciprocal of x which is 1 by x of the work.
Similarly, in 1 day, if I do 1 by x of the work, the whole work I can complete in x days, which is reciprocal of 1 by x. Similarly, if one day I can do this much work, then the whole work can be done by me in reciprocal of uh, 1 by x days. Okay. That means this much. This is my 1 by x here, right? 7 by 24 is here my 1 by x. If you just observe, a plus b is one day work. My one day work is this, suppose. And a plus b's whole work can be done in reciprocal x here. 1 by x is reciprocal is x. So it is 7 by 24 is reciprocal is 24 by 7. And that's your answer. And that's what it is, it is being asked in the question. Just see properly. How long will it take to complete it together? That's what you mean here. It's mentioned here. A plus, A plus B can do the whole work. A plus B means what they are together. Can do the whole work in 3 whole 3 by 7 days. <coughs> so that's the way. You have to first find their 1 day slash 1 hour work. Then you have to join their 1 day and 1 hour work. To get their together 1 day or 1 hour work. And then just reciprocate it. To find the whole work done by them in what time. It's just as simple as that. You can just observe it. If you get up to this part by finding their one day and one work of each of them, add them to get that together's one day work, then whole work done in reciprocal days. That's all. That's as easy as that. Okay. Let's see next one. It's going to be, I think, means at first when I means. When to the sums of this chapter, I was confused. Means, what kind of a weird thing is this? Is reciprocating? But then I mean slowly understood. Means personally, means thought in my mind that yes, I can do it in some time. Means x days suppose. In one day, I can do only one by x of the work, and one by x is the reciprocal of x. Similarly, if my one day work is one by x, then whole work can be done by me in one by one by x equal to x. So that is also the reciprocal. So both are reciprocal of each other. Okay. That's the concept. Now let's see the next one. So here they are again. A can do a piece of work in four days. B can and B can do the same work in six days. Okay. Find how much work can be done by them working together. Okay. Find how much work can be done by them. Together. Writing is quite pathetic, you know. In one, in, in two parts are there of the question. One day, and then we have two days. So, this is the question. Okay. Oh no, one, one more part is the thing. I just can't see. Yes. How much work will be left after they have worked? together 
for two days. Alright. So see, remember the total work is always one. Guys, just give me one second. All right. So the question is again, it's more easier for us because now we don't have to find in how much time they can do the work together. But we have to find how much work they can do in a given time. So this is only much more easier. See how again the same process. So A can do. And remember the total work is always one. Whatever work we find, remember remaining work equal to 1 minus work done. Okay. A can do the work in 4 days. Therefore, A's 1 day work. That same formula, I can do a work in X days. My one day work equal to 1 by x. So 1 by 4. Similarly, Mr. B can do the work in 6 days. Okay. Then again, B is... Miss, this is compulsory for all the way. You have to do it. Otherwise, you can't mean solve the question. <clears throat> to find their one day or one hour, whatever work is there. Means, here day is given, so you have to find one day work. Here hours given, you have to find one hour work. Simple. So, B is one day work equal to one by six. Okay, after this, it is okay. Now, question one is what? They are together with how much work they can do in one day, together. So, together means what? A plus B is one day work. Equal. Now, A plus B is one day work is what? A is one day work plus B is one day work. Equal to one by four plus one by six. And this will be, I think, 12, 3 plus 2, 5. Yeah. This will be it. 3 and you have 2, yeah, obviously. You can understand like that. A is one day work is this, B is one day work is this. Then A is one day work plus B is one day work. Called A plus B is together one day work. And that's what we have to find in the first part. First part. <coughs> How much work they can do in one day when they are together? A plus B means they are together. Now, their one day work is this. So, A plus B is two day work will be what? In one day they can do this much work. Then in two days they can do twice that that much work. The more the days they will do the more work, right? It will multiply them. Increasing means multiplication. So then in two days they can do it's oh sorry, not 11 is 12. In one day they can do 5 by 12 work together. In two days they can do together 5 by 12 into 2. It will be 5 by 6. And that's the second part. They are asking how much work they can do together in two days. 
in two days they are together how much work they have done that's it now third part how much work will be left after they have worked together for two days so then for third part work length see in two days they have done this much work total work is always one so total work means work left is what total work minus completed work <coughs> consider any task i told you the example of chair your task is to build the whole chair you have completed three by five of construction of the chair then your task left is what total task minus completed task total task is one in any case minus completed task is three by five one minus three by five equal to two by five similarly here your total task is one and you have completed five by six of the task in two days so when you have worked for two days and your core means done this much work you know work left is one minus completed work equal to one minus five by six and this is simple subtraction 1 by 6 easy this is third one okay so how easily we got the answer right it was much more easier i told you you know how to means a can do the work in four days a is one day work is one by four using this formula b can do the work in six days b is one day work is one by six <coughs> now a is one day work plus b is one day work could A and B together is one day work, which is our first part question. That is 5 by 2 as we got. Then A and B together two day work is A and B together one day work multiplied by 2. That is 5 by 6. Now in two days they completed this much of the work. Then work left is what? Total work minus completed work. Total work is 1. Completed work is this. 1 minus 5 by 6 equal to 1 by 6. Go on. Finished as easy as that i told you work and time is not hard means if you understand the concept then easy smooth rolling that's the next one now pipes and cisterns so some on that so don't get afraid it's the uh, same as pipe means the work and time sums I just give me one second okay All right, some knowledge was coming, that's why I have to go. So let's begin again. So pipes and cisterns, so it's a very good topic. <coughs> you fill a, suppose you are filling a bucket uh, through a running tap. Means the bucket is getting filled and another tap is there. That, that is means emptying the bucket. Then suppose the tap that is filling the bucket, uh, it has some speed and the tab that is emptying the bucket it has a less speed so filling and going out filling and going out at some time it will come you will see the bucket is filled up what is the time so that's what is the means concept of this question question three let's see what is it two tabs what are tabs okay can fill system it's a tank means you on the pump for means getting water to your tank right you do that so that's what is system actually two tasks can fill a system in 10 hours
same process actually just one difference is there some are doing positive work some are doing negative work so positive means addition negative means subtraction all right you will see what i am trying to mean and eight hours uh, my pen is not working again that old problem still let's see it has respective a third tab Can empty it in fifteen hours. So see, two are trying to fill the uh, system, but they are doing positive work. They are donate donating means they are doing positive work, but one is trying to empty, so he is doing negative work. <coughs> so work of the positive will get added, and work of the negative will get subtracted to get the resultant work done. It's as simple as that. I am writing negative means that's how means the concept is framed. It's not negative. Third tab can empty it in fifteen hours. Now the question of the twist, right? How long will it take to fill that empty system if all of them are open together? Let's see, for the MP system at first, the two taps pour some water and the third tap then just remove some water. Means two are pouring water, it uh, means more than the amount emptied by the tap, means only one tap. Just like that, means you will see at one position, donating means removing, donating, removing, the cycle will go on and one time you will see the system is filled up. Then all, all obviously the taps will close, work is done. Then we have to see what is the time. So the same process. Okay. But let's see what is the difference. If all of them are opened together. So let's figure it out. Suppose filling the tap or emptying the tap is the work done. Then tap one can fill the means do the work in 10 hours. Two taps can fill in 10 hours and 8 hours respectively. Then tap one can fill the system in 10 hours. Then tap one. Can do the work in ten hours. Therefore, tap once. See here, one hour is there, so we have to call it one hour. Tap once. One hour work. Just like that, you can do a work in X hours in one hour. You can do one by X of hours, mean one by X of the work. So one by ten. Gone. 
Now, so tap two can fill the system means tap two can do the work in eight hours. All right. Therefore, tap tools one hour work. Just like the previous one, this will be one by eight. Same formula. Okay. Now, not the end of the story, tap 3 is there. Yes, the work of the tap 3 is different. He is busy in emptying the system. It's a work, so tap 3 can complete his work in 15 hours. It's given to us, so let's write. In 15 hours, therefore, tap three one hour work just like the previous one, this will be one by 50. Now we have got the three tabs respective one hour work. Then in together in one hour how can how much work they can do? Therefore, tab one plus two plus three is one hour work. equal there you have the twist see taps one tap once work is positive when you are doing some work means it's here is filling up that is increasing the quantity so it's positive but tap one and two are doing positive work they're filling up the system but tap three is decreasing the level of the system that is emptying it decreasing is negative so tap means C tap one plus two plus three is one hour work is what tap once one hour work tap tap two is two hour one hour work and tap three is one hour work together. So tap once one hour work is positive. So in the tap two is one hour work is also positive. But tap 3 is 1 hour work is negative. He is decreasing the means quantity of the system. Emptying it, decrease means negative. So when it's decreasing, then it will be minus 1 by 15. Suppose I am there and one, one of my stupid friends is there. I am means working hard to means uh, fill a basket of mangoes and he is means uh, means he's sleeping suppose and throwing one of the other mangoes from the basket. Okay, then if he was not doing that, it would have taken me less time to means uh, fill up the basket. But as he's throwing means some mangoes, I have to fill more mangoes. It's taking more time, so he's throwing away the mangoes. He's decreasing the quantity. It's negative work, and I'm filling the basket. I'm increasing the quantity. It's positive work. Positive work is always added. Negative work is always subtracted <coughs> to get the resultant work. And this calculation will turn out to be, let's do some crazy LCM. What is this? Okay, this is, see, this has to be a bracket. Because this is a positive work and that is negative. Okay. Oh, then let's see this one will turn out to be 
44 minus 5. Wait, sorry. 4 plus 5, 9 by 40 minus 1 by 15. And this will be 9 by 40 minus 1 by 15. So it will turn out to be 120 divided by. So 120 denominator. 3 into 9, 27 minus 8. 19 by 20. So I think that's the means there one hour work. Let me just see once more. I don't believe myself. I think I always do mistakes. Let me see 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Accept it. Uh, 9 by 40 minus 1 by 15. That means 9 to uh, 3 to 27, 27 minus 8. It's going to be 19. Yes. That's their one hour work. Therefore, now it's easy. Tap 1 plus 2 plus 3 can do the work in. Now this form it will reciprocate. One twenty by nineteen, and that is. Oh no! Why am I doing that? Six whole one by nineteen. This is the answer. See how long will it take to fill the empty system if all of them are open together. That means all of them are okay, open together. That means what? They are doing the work together. And in together means they are one hour. Means all of their work together. So let's just summarize this sum. So tap one can do the work of filling the system in 10 hours. Then tap one's one hour work is 10, 1 by 10. Tap two can do the work of filling the system in 8 hours. Then tap 2's 1 hour work is 1 by 8. Similarly, tap 3 can empty the cistern in 15 hours. Then tap 3's 1 hour work is 1 by 15. Now, tap 1 plus 2 plus 3's 1 hour work is what? Tap 1's 1 hour work plus tap 2's tap 1 hour work plus tap 3's 1 hour work. But we see that tap 1's 1 hour work and tap 2's 1 hour work is positive because they are filling the system, increasing the quantity of the system, that means positive work. But we see that tap 3's 1 hour work is negative because it is decreasing the quantity of the system by emptying it, right? So whenever you are decreasing or means decreasing the quantity of something, it is negative work. So tap 1 plus 2 plus 3's 1 hour work will be the positive works get added up of tap 1 and 2 and the negative work of tap 3 gets subtracted from it to get the resultant 1 hour work of tap 1, 2 and 3 together. Then tap two, tap 1, 2 and 3's 1 hour work is this together. Then tap 1, 2 and 3 together can do the work in reciprocation of 19 by 120. 120 by 19 equal to 6 whole 1 by, so not 6 whole 1 by 19, 6 whole 6 by 19. 6 so 6 by 19 hours. That form, uh, my 1 hour work equal to 1 by x, then I can do the work in um, 1 by x is reciprocal hours. Okay. So, 1 by x is reciprocal. So, here my 1 by x is what? My 1 hour work is 1 by x. So, 1 by x is 19 by 20. Then, I can do the work in 1 by x is reciprocal hours. So 19 by 120 is reciprocal is the 120 by 19 and that is 6 whole 6, 6, whole, 6 by 19 hours. That's all about this unitary method part 3 actually. 3 sums yes, yes absolutely. Nothing more than this means C. Actually work and time is the most important part of this chapter and I know many sums are there but I think that with these 3 sums you can actually means figure it out what this chapter is actually.
what this part 3 is actually. We can keep a part 4 for more sums. I will try to solve more sums actually. Some means summary. What do I say of this part 4? We decided to only in the starting of video that this is the last part. But I think that more sums should be done for this chapter. So let me see if I can do a few more sums of part 4 of this chapter. You will see the next video. For today, remember that if I can do a work in x days slash hours, then my one day slash one hour work is one by x. And remember, my one day work and my whole work are reciprocal of each other. Okay. So, if you know, you can do the whole work in this time. So, you know, one day work is reciprocal of that quantity of time. And similarly, if you do in one day or one hour you do this much work <coughs> then you can do the whole work in reciprocal of this one day or one hour works means time okay and always remember if you have means calculated one person's one hour work one second person's one hour work then if both of them are doing positive work then together their one hour work is First person's one hour work plus second person's one hour work. But if one person is doing positive work and another person is doing negative work, then the positive work is added and from that the negative work is subtracted to get the resultant one day or one hour work of together of both the persons. Okay. So positive work equal to addition, negative work equal to subtraction. That's another fact. So End of part 3 should have been the end of the chapter, but I think we should do more sums actually in part 4. So I will try to make that. So then if you found my video on unitary method part 3 for class 7, very interesting and helpful. And if the concepts of positive work equal to addition and negative work equal to subtraction and work and times all sums and formulas I told you today are quite informative and clear to you most of all. Leave a like and share and subscribe my channel because see in the middle of the exams my exams are starting tomorrow i um, trying my level best to means be active on youtube and try to means give as many videos to all of you as possible so show some support from your side it motivates me to make better videos for hope you all on this interesting chapter in any kind of situations so see you in the next video of this part four of this chapter to learn some more sums till then take care and goodbye thank you